What is up everyone, Nils Infinity here, back at it again with some more Athos. We uh, are working on trying to level up so we can get our base fairly finished off here and completed. But in the process, I've been trying to work on getting some of the taming stuff. Uh, we do want to get some of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the saddles made. So I'm trying to showcase that a little bit for you guys. But um Gotta go manage to, I think, find some crude salt. So I was thinking today we'll go down the beach a little bit and try to explore. See uh, about finding some of those resources. Find out if I can manage to uh, get this NPC over here. I gotta find some of those little salt crystals. I could have swore there was some somewhere around here. Really wish the bow would work right. Things is so frustrating. The NPC I feel like before this update worked a lot better. Alright, so show you guys a little bit of this. I don't know, he'll probably uh You can block. Ooh. Yeah, see, he like fucks your health up, man. They're not attacking the uh, dinos like they used to. Oh god, run! Oh, go see now they're they're attacking. Oh yeah. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, man, they're rough. Rough. Oh yeah, gotta you gotta have a two-handed weapon if I mean a one-handed weapon if you're wanting to harvest anything. So when you're running around, if you can't just spam click a bunch of stuff to pick up on the way by. Uh, it's because you're you're holding something that's considered a two-handed weapon, so uh, I gotta get some of my health back, so let me cook this up real quick Let me cook some of this up All right cool now I got an extra little club here a little mace so very nice Not too shabby uh, I'll Go ahead and eat this real quick Because these right here give you some HP and hunger so uh, the meats is basically what you're gonna need for health so uh, unless you do some ba you can you can get bandages too bandages can help you a lot all right go ahead and eat this meat try to get my health all back up and then we'll run down try to see if we can find some salt Oh, 
This is what I was looking at right here. Preserving salt, crude salt, and sulfur. Alright, so that's what we're working on trying to get here. Just trying to drop some stuff off real quick. That way y'all can see a little bit here. Boom. Okay. Got some of that. Throw that in there. Keep that full. We'll uh we'll throw that in there for right now. Alright, throw some of that in there. We got our bow. This bow is literally at the breaking point, so we're gonna go ahead and drop that one. Um we'll drop it outside. Oh shit. Scare the hell out of me. Y'all, you guys need to get like right away from my door here. Not your pathing. Sheesh. Where are they like huddling right at my door, man? Alright, then I'll go ahead and get these back down here. Drop that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, we got a little bit of combat. You see that it's a, a little little wonky. Um, you do get some good stuff from them, though, so can't complain about that part. That's decent. Oh, we're going to try to go find some uh, preserving salt here. Like I said, it's early a.m. We can see pretty decently right now, so that's uh, what we're trying to get at. I know if we go down the beach and stuff, we can manage to find that stuff. So I'm going to try to just run, spam click a bunch of shit on the way there. Let's try to keep an eye out for preserving salt. They're going to look like little salt crystals, so that's all we're pretty much looking for. We might encounter some other stuff as well. But yeah, you tend to find these salt crystals and things a lot of times over by the uh, coastline and the rocks and stuff that are clustered up over here. And as I showed you guys before, you do have a map. You have a little compass at the top so you can kind of have a sense of direction. Um... So these are some of the other ones here and this one's two melee guys but sometimes you'll find them and they'll have uh it'll end up being uh, a guy with a bow like you'll have a bow dude and, and a couple things like you know bow guy so a lot of times you want to try to get that bow guy taken out like asap uh because he's the only one that's going to reach your range you know Oh, what do we got? Something going on in this direction. You guys can see the dilo here. Or no, no, that's a raptor. I'm going to take advantage of the situation. That worked out for me. <laughs> All I got are just chilling in the water. There. I was going to say they're sunbathing, but they're not. Uh, come on, baby. Where are some salt crystals, man? I was really hoping that I was placed somewhere decent that would have had some salt crystal access here. Try not to run too much because, you know, you do have to keep eating for your stamina, so I'm trying to save it for if a dino or something, you know shows up then I can maybe hopefully outrun a little bit 
Uh, I'm gonna run down this coast here, get an idea here of what uh if we find any crystals. And you can find them, you don't necessarily just find them at the coast. I mean, you can find them, you know, in, uh, you can find them, you know, walking around. There's, there's like areas, especially like in the swamp, there's some areas too that. Oh yeah, see there's a bow dude right there. Not sure how close he's gonna engage. They seem a little broken at the moment, which is uh, good for me. <laughs> Not too often though that I get a ton of a uh, ton of moonlight at night, so I'm really trying to make use of this for y'all to be able to see. I mean, unless they changed it, let's take a look here. These could be uh, new new stone or something because this looks different for some reason. Oh yeah, see, look, I'm getting different different stuff here. I get it. Blue gems, yellow gems. Let's see, I don't know. So these these seem to be just stones, but these are giving me some other type of gems and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. And blue gems, yellow gems for crafting better quality stuff. Okay. Nice, nice. You guys end up killing something over here? Heard something going on. I don't know what was going on. But something. Yeah, those look like different kind of stones, so not the typical uh, little boulders you find like these ones here. I don't know, man. They might have changed the the crystals and the soul. Like they might have changed that up. Not entirely positive now. They got the dialo here. Oh shit. Get his ass! Get his ass! Mess him up! Mess him up! Mess him up! Triceratops, help me, bro! I had to make sure that they weren't coming to attack me. I was like, oh, fuck. They now it's all dark and shit again. Come on, baby. I really want to find those salt crystals, man. Check over here just to see, but I don't know. It seems like they may have changed it. Changed uh, where you get them or how you get it now. Not entirely positive. What is it right now? Okay, so it should be daylight here shortly.
Just checking a lot of spots that I uh, have found them, so. Hoping that we come across them, plus, you know, you never know. We might run into some of the other dinos and stuff, too, for you guys to see. Oh, there we go. There's salt crystals, y'all. I'm just far from them this way, at least. I'm far, so. Yeah, baby. Here we go. This is what we're looking for right here. These salt crystals. So we can get all this crude salt. Are there any others? in this area. The one. Oh, what's he going to attack? There's the raptor. Damn, all right. Is that other one over here still? I don't know how long till they despawn and everything still. Hmm. All right, well, we're gonna head back with what we do have. And uh, yeah, I guess, Let's see, maybe we find something on the way there. Yeah, it's crazy. There's only one down here. I like I, I look at that. I look pretty neat. A little uh, go in here. A little cave. <laughs> Let's go. Supposed to be a lot of really neat stuff added eventually to the game. So, like I said, if you just stick around with it and watch it progress and everything, you guys will see a lot of the really neat, cool stuff that they add to it. Right, I guess what I can do is just go ahead and use this time to eat, get all my health and everything back up. Or not my health, but my food and hunger. Food and thirst, y'all. Look at that. Look how freaking cool that looks, man. Imagine one day being able to go out in the water. I mean, you could swim around in the water right now, but there's supposed to be, like, eventually some, I think, like, caves and things. And stuff like that out there to explore eventually and uh, the possibility of some like water type dinosaurs and stuff so that'd be freaking badass imagine seeing some little megs and uh, you know a bunch of really really you know like really cool water dinos it'd be pretty badass so yeah but uh, we're still trying to keep our eye out for some crystals, so. Some salt crystals. I want to get some crude salt and manage to make some. I do need to get some sulfur. So hopefully we can get some sulfur done up and everything and then be good to go. Oh, 
pool shabby. I would love to see a hot bar uh, mouse wheel option, though. That is something I'm still really hoping that the devs can eventually add into the game. Because when you're running and on the go, trying to stretch your hand across while still moving over to the 7, 8, 9, and 0 keys is not the easiest while still running. So, <laughs> so like, uh, there we go, you know, now boom, food. And then, bam, energy. What is that? Oh, okay. I know my house is over that way, but it's like we're, uh, you know, right now we're, oh, that's weird that it shows my bed here. Very odd. Uh, we're, we're not there though, which is weird. Um, yeah, I guess it's doing that little server bug thing where it's showing your, uh, bed in the center of the map kind of thing. So don't, don't, don't always fall. make sure if you're gonna follow the house icon that you just double check and that that is where you're actually uh, your base is built. I know that I if I just keep running down the beach here, um, I'll get back over to my side of the base like where I've started building. Well, not too shabby, and uh, I love the the map how it unlocks as you basically run around, so it's got like a little fog to it. And then it unlocks as you run around and find, you know, explore and find places and stuff. It's really neat. That way you don't really know what's in a certain direction until you've actually gone there and explored it. So it's really cool. I like some of the rocks I come across that look like this. These are cool. The little hollow, the little hollow spots in here. Very neat. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so we managed to see a few different dinosaurs that way. Um, got some salt crystals. I know that towards the swamp, there are salt crystals that I've seen in there. So we're going to attempt to try to go that way. We'll also be able to get to see the uh, Sarcos. So hopefully we can manage to check those out. They're uh, pretty quick and very persistent at trying to get you. So without the bow really working very well, not sure how... Uh, I'm a combat's gonna go with them, so. What is being attacked up here? Oh, I think he's after me, man. Don't turn back. Okay, sometimes they give up. Other times they'll literally be on you. The audio of them chasing you just goes away. So, they just make sure... All right, cool. So now we're back in another part here. So those big trees in the distance there that you see, that's the redwood forest. So if you go that way, it's going to be all redwood forest. If you go over here to these trees here, this is going to be all swamps. And that's where you're going to find a lot of sarcos um, over here. And then, like I said, over there is redwood forest. So, you know, find a little bit of some stuff in there. Not too much.
But we're just kind of running along here, seeing what we can come across. I think this is a shallow enough spot that I should be able to get across here. Pull out my pickaxe so we find. You don't have to run all the way around over there, so you got, you know. This goes right into the swamp lands. You can harvest uh, these bushes here, right here. All these ones are really good bushes to harvest for a ton of berries. Oh yeah, so the swamp land's great. Tons of berries, a lot of, a lot of good resources and stuff in here. All right, so to get back to my house, about southwest. Oh yeah, so there you go. See, they got new ones there. Nice. Very cool. I like that they're uh, not being hostile. Hostile. Yeah. Oh, shit. Leave me alone. Buddy, you don't want me. You don't want me, I swear. Fucking A, man. Thought they were hostile. They're hostile. Need them to lose interest in me, man. Look at them. Look at them so freaking coming. I think he probably hits that boundary and won't keep coming, right? Or is he really going to keep coming? Come on, shoot up. Man, they look pretty gnarly. <laughs> I will use the terrain to my advantage, y'all. I really hope they fix this bow. All right, if I gotta go through it, y'all y'all are gonna see it too. So that way it shows you guys. I don't want you guys having these expectations that the bow is like perfect, you know? Oh, when it works, though, it is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, when it works, it is awesome. I'll tell you that right now. The bow is so strong. But, unfortunately, on the servers, for some odd reason, I don't know why, but uh, the dev is aware, and they've been working on it, trying to get it fixed. But, uh, for some reason, it is just something... Oh god, there's a Yep, there's a new uh Oh look it's a raptor. Yeah, it's a new uh Suko. The new uh Suko there. Oh, 
Oh my god, I got a freaking axe from him, bro. Right, I gotta try to get this freaking salt here without triggering this guy coming over here. So hopefully nothing comes this way. The, I was gonna say the swamp has a lot of these, so I just, I know you can find them on the beach though, so. Oh my god, that one's freaking cool looking. We're battling it out. Look. A cluster of them. They killed each other. Let me harvest them all. Dude, that was awesome. Oh, thank God the raptor didn't see me. Fuck these, so much is going on. It's crazy. Fuck, it's wild in here, man. I, I challenge somebody to try to survive here in the freaking swamps. No joke. Because it seems crazy. One day, one day maybe. When game's a little bit more, uh, has a little more progression and stuff in it, I, I may I may go ahead and attempt the swamp, swamp build. Do my little, my little shack, my little shack in the swamp. So just let you know, so if anybody decides to do that, Y'all, y'all know that I said it here first, okay? But uh, yeah. Nice, nice. All right, so swamps straight across. That is my place. Go ahead and eat up, drink up, I'll hydrate. Oh, cool, cool. All right, so I do have some some salt crystals, crude salt in a uh, decent spot nearby, so that's good. Very nice. All right, cool. All right, let's see here. Uh, preserving salt. I need sulfur. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this here. Boom. Craft. Bam. Oh, turn on. There we go. Boom. Now we'll queue those up so they don't spoil. I'm gonna grab that stuff there. And, uh, nope. In here, boom, and sleepy berries in there. Oh, I need more fiber. Shit, didn't realize I didn't have a whole bunch of fiber in there. Boom, there we go. Okay, cool. So, 10 sleepy berries, 10 spoiled meat. Very good, very good, y'all. Throw some berries there. Da, da, da. All right, everything else looking pretty decent. All right, cool. Let's see here. Storage. All right, so these ones, I don't think 
are as strong as these, but um, yeah, I'm gonna store some in here. So let's actually store all my purple ones in here. That way I have them separate for the time being. Cooking up a ton of meat here. Okay, good, good. But a bit of good. Alright, so we got some blue gems. Like I said, we got blue gems. We got yellow gems. And we have green gems. So definitely some new uh some new stuff in here, which is pretty cool. Blue and yellow. We did get an uncommon metal hatchet here. So I'm not sure. Let's take a look here. If I was to try to repair that. If we got an uncommon metal hatchet, you need ten green bird. Okay, okay. Alright. Nice, nice, okay. Let's uh yeah, let's start using that bad boy. This right here will drop off. And uh yeah, let's just throw this bad boy down real quick. Oh you know, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll use it up, but uh I wanna show you guys the uh, new the new hatchet. Alright, let's see here. Alright, blueprints, let's see. I need to be able to make some sulfur, so let's go ahead and get the sulfur unlocked there. Bandages we could use for health if we want. Um, this is all thatch, so I gotta remember not to do any of the thatch. Uh, I know you guys probably want some wall torches, so that way you can see in here, which is, we could do that. We can do some of that. Hell yeah, man, we're gonna be having some freaking awesome stuff here. For a long time. Okay, okay. Boom, boom. What do we got? Blueberry paste. Got the other saddle. Nice, nice. Okay, we need, we need windows. And we'll do this and this. That's a full roof. That's a half roof. Cool. That's the one I wanted. I don't really care about the half roof right now. So these are the ones I want right here. All right. So what do we need? We need one, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So 10 roof pieces. I don't think I have enough wood for that, but we can toggle building here. At least do windows and we have six windows. So we're going to go ahead and craft six windows. We're going to end that here. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying the content, definitely appreciate it. Give, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, with that being said, Nils Infinity, where life never ends. And I will see y'all on the next one.